struggle for water right here at Pupuni in the eastern region. It is 3 a.m. and you would be thinking that people should be sleeping by now, but this is not so. Residents moved from their various homes to come and wait here from 8 p.m. to morning at 6 a.m. before they will get water to drink. As we all know, water is very essential for our day-to-day -to -day activities and the people of Pupuni are struggling. It's almost always a tug of war here to get access to portable water to drink. This is the well that about 3,000 people rely on. If it doesn't rain heavily, getting water becomes difficult for inhabitants of Pupuni. The well is almost always empty in the mornings. Residents have no choice than to wait in a queue for about six hours or more every day to get a pan or bucket full of water for their household chores. <laughs> Upon inquiry, I found out that the people usually spend the night by the well just to get water. So I went to the well around midnight, and to my surprise, residents had already queued from 8 p.m. for water. <laughs> Since you cannot cheat nature, most of the people waiting for water were sleeping on their pants while others were dozing off. The rest were simply sitting on their pants and gallons waiting for the water to fill up to some appreciable level before they start to fetch. Unfortunately, there was just a little bit of water in the well after spending the night there. The people couldn't wait any longer and began to fetch the water. Only the strongest got water. The water drawn from the well was milky, dirty and unhygienic. Residents have to boil it back home before using it. Some residents spoke to GBC News. We need water. Our children are always late for school due to the unavailability of water. I have a month-old baby at home and I'm here struggling for water. Oh, we came here about me. I came here about three hours ago. We are, uh, I'm still here, so we are here to find water and go and do what to go and buy some to want the water to go and work, to go and cook. So that's why we are we are always here. There was a borehole in the town, but the water is very salty. According to residents, the unavailability of water is affecting their work and their children's education. We are really having water problem in Pupun because when you come and sit here for water, you don't get water, and you sit here more than six hours before you get one pan of water. If you were three or four days, you sit here overnight before you get some water and we are getting typhoid because of we don't have water to drink here our leaders have made many promises but have failed to honor such promises after voting for them we still do not have water we plead with the president to come to our aid we have finally voted for our president and we plead with him to ensure we get portable water. We are suffering. According to the United Nations report, about 785 million people still remain without basic drinking water, and that figure includes the people of Pupuni. For many, it is disappointing that access to portable water is still a struggle in many rural communities in the 21st century. The question still remains if the SDG 6 
on clean water and sanitation can be achieved in such areas before its target time. Since water is very essential to life, the people of Pupuni are sending an SOS to the government, individuals or organizations for help so they too can enjoy clean and safe water. Beatrice Senaju, GBC News, Pupuni.